So today I want to talk to you guys about the Mapping the Ocean Floor Lab. Um, personally, I think this is a really cool assignment, so I'm excited to kind of share it with you. Um, so there's a couple ways you can get to this assignment. The first is um, you can go to the course materials and the content, click geological oceanography, and then tab through the pages until you get to the assignment. Um, the other way you can get to it um, is you can click on this button that says geological oceanography. And we'll bring up this um, course resource newsletter that has some helpful hints for you guys for these assignments. And um, right here, it will tell you that you can either go to page six on the module to find the assignment, or you can just click here and it will actually download the assignment for you. So let's go ahead and look and see what we've got. Oh, wow, it opened too. Okay. So this one. Um, says, imagine you're an oceanographer traveling along the Atlantic. Um, oceanographers use sonar um, to figure out how fast sound waves travel in water. Um, and so they use this formula to find the ocean floor depth. And so here, what we're going to do is we're going to use this information to figure out the depth of the ocean. And then we'll be actually be able to plot in our graph. We'll make a really cool, like a, like a side view of what the ocean floor looks like so it's pretty cool so um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Excel because I don't want to do all these calculations um, by myself it's too much work okay so now I have Excel open and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take all of this information and I'm gonna copy and paste it into Excel okay so now that I've got that I can actually use the formula um, to figure this out and then I don't I, I don't have to do it all the time so let me show you how this works so I'm gonna do um, equals one half times the time times the velocity and um, the velocity is your speed of sound so that's one four fifty four and it's gonna be the same every time Um, and then we can just take this and we can bring it all the way down and it gives us our ocean floor depth. Okay, so now we can take our longitude and we can take our depth and we can kind of um, make a graph. Okay, so um, the easiest way to get this graph to look right is to just um, go ahead and click these three and then you're going to click, you know, whatever you want. And then we're gonna um, right click this graph and we're going to hit select data. We're going to take out longitude and time and then for the horizontal x-axis categories I'm going to highlight the longitude numbers and that way we've got the longitude there. Okay so now we can get rid of this and we can add um, we can add labels. Okay so I want to label my um, y-axis I'm going to label this depth in meters and I'm going to label my y-axis, or my x-axis, longitude. Okay, and then we can call this, um, the graph tell, the lab tells you what it wants you to be. It wants you to call it ocean depth sonar data. Okay, so we can give it a chart title. We can call it ocean depth sonar data. So now you've got a picture that's kind of like a sideways view of the bottom of the ocean. Okay, um, now the last thing it wants you to do is format your graph. Um, this looks okay so far. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy and paste this, this graph into, okay, and then we can call this, um, the graph, tell, the lab tells you what it wants you to be. It wants you to call it ocean depth sonar data. Okay, so we can give it a chart title. We can call it ocean depth sonar data. So now you've got a picture that's kind of like a sideways view of the bottom of the ocean. Okay, um, now the last thing it wants you to do is format your graph. Um, this looks okay so far. Now what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste this, this graph into the Word document. 
Okay, so you can just put it right here. Okay, now um, one thing is it wants you to do is it wants you to identify and label the continental shelf um, and the continental slope. It wants you to label an ocean floor feature in the bottom of your map, of your graph. Um, and it wants you to label the abyssal plane. Okay, now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can bring it up in like a, um, you can edit your picture in some sort of software, um, like Snagit, or if you have a Mac, you can edit in preview um, or PowerPoint or in something like that. Um, you may be able to edit it in Word. Um, see, like I can draw like this. Um, so I could, you know, do something like that. And I could say, you know, this was arrow one. And that was arrow two. And then that kind of thing. You know, maybe I need to label this right here. That would be three. And then I could put, you know, um, you know, I could write something here like the continental shelf is labeled three. That's not right, by the way. And then, um, the continental slope is labeled two. That's also not right. Um, but then that would give you a way to kind of label it. Um, so you can do that if you want. Um, you can say, you know, you can refer to your graph and you can say from like 64 longitude to about 50 longitude. That is, you know, the Marianas Trench. That's also not right. Um, you know, so whatever you want to do. Um, as long as I can tell what you're doing for those sorts of things. So make sure you label those things. Um, and then anyway, that's basically how you do the lab. So it's not super difficult. Um, and honestly, I think it's pretty cool to get to see this like kind of side view um, picture of the ocean floor, cross section of the ocean floor. I think it looks pretty neat. So anyway, that's how you do this.